In this training tutorial, we will enter a simple span composite steel rolled beam in the Ashtoware Bridge Design and Rating Software, version 7.0. This example is example A1 from the Manual for Bridge Evaluation. It's a simple span composite steel rolled beam with bottom flange cover plates. In this example, we will enter the physical description of the superstructure, and then for an interior stringer, we will perform an LRFD design review. A load and resistance factor rating, including estimating the remaining fatigue life, a load factor rating, and an allowable stress rating. This training consists of three short videos in which we will cover the following topics. This first video covers creating the bridge and entering bridge components, such as the steel and concrete materials, the steel rolled beam shape, and appurtenances. This second video covers creating the simple span superstructure definition and describing the girder members of the superstructure. The third and final video covers selecting the analysis settings, including entering a permit vehicle and viewing the results of the analysis. This training video was created prior to the release of BRDR version 7.0. As such, it shows an internal release build number and date. The version number and release date of the release version of BRDR 7.0 will be different from what is shown on this login screen. Double-click the BRDR icon to start the software. Enter bridge for the username and for the password. Click the ellipsis button to open the database connections window where we can select the database to use in this session. BRDR is delivered with two sample databases that contain example bridges that new users can use to explore the software. Select the database ending in 70S. Click OK to return to the login screen and then OK to log into the software. Select the New button on the ribbon to create a new bridge. The bridge ID and NBI structure ID are identifying values defined by your agency to define the bridge. We will enter MBEA1 as our bridge ID, NBI structure ID, and the name of our bridge. This bridge is a steel bridge, and we will be performing an LRFR remaining fatigue life rating, so we will need to enter the year built as 1964, as well as the following information on the traffic tab. This information will be used by the Ashto LRFR engine to compute the remaining fatigue life on this structure. The upper right-hand corner of the bridge window displays the types of structures that can be described in BRDR. These checkboxes control display of these items in the bridge workspace tree. We will turn off display of culverts and substructures in our example. Click OK to close this window and save the data to memory. Now switch to the Components tab in the bridge workspace. This Components tab is where we will enter items that get used throughout the superstructure such as appurtenances and materials. The barrier used in our superstructure looks like this. We will describe the concrete portion of the barrier using two generic appurtenances and use a steel railing to describe the top railing. Expand the tree under appurtenances and double click on generic to create a generic appurtenance to describe the bottom concrete portion of this barrier. Enter the following information. Create another new generic appurtenance and enter the following data to describe the upper portion of the concrete barrier. This is a generic appurtenance. The user is responsible for entering the load per foot of the appurtenance and the location of the centroid of the appurtenance load. Click OK to close the window and save the data to memory. Double-click Railing to create a new steel railing for this bridge. Enter the following data and click OK. Our data is being stored in memory, but it has not yet been stored to the database. Click on the Save button on the Workspace ribbon to save our bridge to the database. 
you should save your bridge to the database on a regular basis as you are entering your data. Now we will create the steel beam shapes that we will use in our superstructure definition. First, we will create the steel channel used for diaphragms. Our training example is a 2D or line girder analysis, but by creating the channel shape and later assigning it to the diaphragm location, these channel shapes will be included in the 3D FE model if we were going to do a 3D analysis in the future. Expand the bridge workspace tree to display the channels folder under steel shapes. Double click the channels folder. Click the copy from library button. Scroll down until we find MC18 by 42.7. Select it and click OK. And then click OK to close this window. Now repeat these steps to create the steel rolled eye shape used for the stringer in our superstructure. Create a new steel rolled shape and click the Copy from Library button. We will use the filter feature to quickly find our steel shape. Click the pin in the shape column and enter 33 by 130 as our filter. Click the first shape to select it. Since we are entering this example from the MBE appendix, we want our results to match those given in the MBE example. So we will very slightly modify the area and moment of inertia of this shape to match those of the historical shape used by the MBE appendix. In this example, we will evaluate the remaining fatigue life of the welded bottom flange cover plates. So we will now describe the weld details. Create another weld definition and enter the following information to describe the fillet weld along the side edges of the cover plate. The final two items to create in the components tabs are the deck concrete material and the steel beam steel material. Open the concrete material window and enter the following data. Click the Compute button to have BRDR compute the material properties for you based on the data you just entered. Open the Steel Materials window and click the Copy from Library button. Select the grade 36 steel and click OK. Now we are done creating the components to use for our bridge. Switch back to the Bridge tab and you can see all the components that we just created.